Uh, can you tell us a little bit about what you're up to here? Yes. Uh, this behind me is called Glass Lab, and it's a collaboration of the Corning Museum of Glass and the Vitra Museum. And we want to provide a platform for designers so the designers can utilize our facilities mm -hmm. to do work in glass. So, who came up with the concept uh, of cross-pollinating with the, the, your glass lab and other artists and designers? Is that It was a designer named Paul Haig, who's also an architect, mm -hmm. and he worked at a um, shop in uh, Wabouchet, where they did educational things to, for designers, mm -hmm. and he wanted to bring glass into it, because he was a Stuban designer and had worked with people at the Corning Museum. I see. And so he started a class called Glass Fusion. And we brought we brought Glass Lab there. He brought his students and it was an opportunity for them to work in glass. And it's a rare opportunity because the facilities are so expensive to set up. It's uh, furnaces, reheating equipment, annealing equipment, plus color and the expertise. Yeah, so, the mastery of glass. Right, exactly. So, uh, what has been the experience for your glass, your glass lab working with other, does it open, with other designers and things? Does it open doors and, and creativity for you, for your well, organization? What, what's interesting for our guys is that we know how to do glass. The designers know their designs and how it works. Mm -hmm. So they'll present us with a drawing and sometimes we can't make it. So we have to teach them what's possible in glass and we have to learn their design vocabulary. And where the two overlap is where we get successful pieces. Can you see something like this coming to Los Angeles as part of the... It's certainly the possible. That we're yeah. And the other, the other thing that we do is we have something similar to this called the ultralight, which provides the same kind of uh, glass blowing experience. And we also have the Corning Museum has uh, a glass blowing trailer. So any has what? a trailer mm -hmm. um, that's pulled by a semi, and any one of those pieces would be great at a festival. Uh, Sometimes we invite children to participate. They do drawings. We pick out one of the drawings and then make it. Wow, this is fantastic. Yeah, it's really fun. Our main mission is to tell the world about glass. So we want to explain every possibility from design to manufacture to art, everything. The craft of glass. And that's what, that's, that's what we're about. Well, the beauty about it in a fast-paced world it's a forgotten art form. Right, exactly. And to bring back that hands-on and, and right. bring that uh, craftsmanship and skill back into the world, I think would be a wonderful thing. Right. This, what you see our guys doing is basically the same as people were doing in 1600.